YouTube what did YouTube do y'all but I am great day. This is a follow up on a article I did maybe three weeks ago. It is titled Grim New Details on a Social Worker Who Had Sex with a Thirteen Year Old Client. And that's a social worker. A social worker admitted to having sex with a thirteen year old boy she was assigned to counsel is reported to have threatened to kill the teen's mom and herself after her arrest. Peyton Shires, 24, was arrested on charges of unlawful sexual conduct with a minor after concerns were raised over text messages shared between the two on October 6. The Columbus Dispatch reported at, a, at the time. Shires was held on a $500,000 bond, which she had posted on October 12th before showing up at a teen's home at the teen's home with the gun. The teen's mother was away from the home but noticed a young woman on a porch through a doorbell camera. Responding officers found Shire sitting with the gun pointed at her head and her finger on the trigger, yelling out threats that she was going to kill herself according to court reports. The teen's mother told the police that Shires had called her and threatened to kill both the mother and herself, accusing the woman and her son of ruining her life. The doorbell camera footage went down shortly after the phone call, which the woman claims was because Shires cut the cameras. The boy's mother reportedly contacted police on September, 20, September 27th after discovering the messages and believed something inappropriate was happening between her son and Miss Shires after seeing messages asking if he had deleted the videos and asking if his mom had seen the videos or messages. The boy's phone was surrendered to police for a forensic evaluation which found a video of the teen and Shires who was previously employed by the National Youth Advocate Program NYAP which specialized in foster care families engaging in sexual conduct. The boy reportedly told Columbus police detectives that he and Shires engaged in intercourse at least two times. WSYX reports on October 5th, police conducted a controlled three-way call in which Shires admitted to the boy's mother that they had engaged in sexual conduct. Shires' bond was revoked after the latest incident and she will remain jailed until her next court appearance which is going to take place on November 6th. Mm. Not too much to say about this article, but um, I just wanted to give you all an update on it. Daily Alpha